I'm Vern Kotrick and we're going to be tying a foam humpy and it's foam humpy lasts quite a bit longer than the regular hump, deer hair humpy and you can use just about any color thread I chose a gold thread it's going to be a yellow humpy and we lay down the thread base back to the bend of the hook and then we tie in a tail of moose hair you can use elk hair but I I prefer using the moose hair. It seems to be just a little bit stiffer than elk. And it needs to be about the length of your hook. The hook I'm using is a Dairiki 730. And the reason I use the Dairiki 730 instead of a standard dry fly hook is it's just a little bit longer and I don't have quite the problem of crowding the eye with the rest of the fly. Now I tie this back to the bend in the hook and now we we'll use the <clears throat> tie in the foam that'll make the the hump. This is two millimeter by five millimeter and we tie the point approximately the halfway point leaving room in front for the, <clears throat> the wing and the hackle and you have to tie to compress that foam. Now for the body we use in this case yellow floss. And take it Now I've got this on top, you can tie it on the bottom or whatever. And take the thread back to the midpoint. Trim off the floss. And now we wrap the floss to make the under under the foam body. You can use other material than floss. Floss is a little bit hard to work with sometimes. This is a fairly good fly for small wild brown trout that I have caught 17 inch cut bow on it 
and some rookies and cutthroat. Don't remember about the rainbows. Then you pull the foam over the body and tug at it a little bit and hold it down and wrap the thread to form that hump. And then you secure it with a few wraps. And then you trim it. And try not to trim your thread. And you can wrap forward over the up to the eye and back to about the halfway point between those because we're going to tie a post <clears throat> of some, in this case, orange. Most of them I've tied with white, but I thought this would show up. This is, I don't know, the orange shows, looks kind of white. Uh, this is uh, mm, can't remember the name of it. High viz, float viz, I think. And you do a figure eight on that to get it perpendicular. And then you can pull it up and wrap it a little bit like a post. And you end up either with a straight post like that or if you you can separate the wings and tie around the wings to have a double post. It doesn't seem to matter whether it's a post or wings. And the hackle is a mixture of brown and grizzly. In this case we're on a size 14 hook so the hackle is maybe just a hair under the 14 size wise because we got a little build up on the hook from the foam around that post. I thought I was anyway. Now we give about three or four wraps behind the post. and then cross over and go three or four times in front of the post. Depends on how bushy you want the fly to be. Now you might can see why I use a 730 because I end up with room enough to tie off to, to make a head.
with a regular dry fly hook. It gets just a little bit close. Now I got to the point of, of trimming the few whiskers out of the way. And trimming this off and it should be just about just above the hackle. And I guess better do a wrap or two on the head. Now we can do the tie off. and a finished fly.